I, I feel like commercial fishing was sort of a natural step for me. I spent summers on this island. I spent all my time either playing in a tide pool, trying to catch anything that swam or crawled around the house. Um, I could row at a very early age. I had my first outboard motor when most kids were getting their first 10 speed bikes. So I was always fishing. I was always very interested in it. Uh, I know at the age of like 13, 12 or 13, um, I stole my parents' boat. And my folks were up at the lighthouse, you know, doing whatever in the yard. And apparently, I cruised by in the family's 40-foot boat with my younger brother and sister aboard. And uh, my mother said, gee, that looks just like our boat. And my father said, that is our boat. For the first 17 years that I fished, I think my parents never gave up on the, maybe you should try something else. You know, fishing's dangerous. You have a college education. You're wasting your education. Why don't you get a real job? She promised me she was going to go to law school. So then it came time to go to law school. She said, Mom, I think I'm going to take a year off. I, I think I just want to try this, just try it full time for a year. And of course, we were very disappointed. <laughs> I think it was probably embarrassing for my mother to introduce me as my daughter, the fisherman. And so now it's like a lot of fun for me to stand on the bow of this boat, look back at my dad, elbow deep in rotten bait, thinking, Dad, you're wasting your education. <laughs> what, what has your life come to? Lobstering is, it, it's, it's tedious. It's a little bit boring. I can't imagine writing an entire book about lobster fishing. If I were going to write anything, it had to be about something that I was in love with, which was sword fishing. So that's where you need the island stuff, the small town stuff, and the, and the different characters, the eccentric, colorful people that choose to live on an island to spice the book up a little bit. And fortunately, it all came together. I'm very happy with the Lobster Chronicles. I like my book. Couldn't wait to read it. And then she was surprised. We said, well, we read it last night. You mean you read it last night? So I, I just read uh, uh, one chapter about the crazy lady Rita who used to live on the island. <laughs> I haven't read it yet, but the cover looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, she left out a lot, too, <laughs> which is just as well. He's read the chapter that I wrote about him in the Lobster Chronicles, right? Mm -hmm. And he liked it, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a man of few words, aren't you? Just couldn't put it down. That's the amazing thing. <laughs> I think how long it took me to write the book, and it's so much work, and to have somebody say, I read your book last night, it's like, what do you mean, you read it one night? <laughs> How'd you read the book? I mean, it took me two years to write it. I, I love the island. I like the way I feel when I'm here. I adore the people. So the characters were uh, fun to write about. I was very fortunate that my parents owned land on the island were willing to sell me a house lot. I like getting up in the morning and looking at the swordfish and remembering, I mean, I spent a major part of my life, I'm 40 years old, 17 of those years I spent at sea chasing swordfish all over the North Atlantic Ocean. I am passionate about catching fish, and I like the way I feel when I'm at sea. Lately, it's been more writing than fishing. The writing things really put a cramp in my fishing style. It was kind of funny. Uh, after The Hungry Ocean came out, I got things in the mail from men. The funniest thing is that they would send pictures of their boats, <laughs> saying, oh, you know, hey, I read your book. I think we should meet. We have a lot in common. Hey, check my boat out. You yeah, no picture of the guy, just a picture of the boat. Because of the success of The Hungry Ocean, I think sort of to please me, they gave me a two book deal. I'm not even gonna think about writing the third book until after the book tour with The Lobster Chronicles. When that's all over, I'll come back here and I'll haul my lobster traps out of the water because it'll be fall, it'll be the end of the season. And then I'll have the, uh, the winter ahead of me to, to get started on the next book.